I met this young man for one reason. I have a sweet tooth. And I happened to stop into the new store in town, the Frozen Cow, at, uh, on Lido Boulevard, and I met Aiden McGovern. And Aiden told me that he uh, is a musician. Uh, he's going to be attending Marymount Manhattan College. And I invited him on the show. And Aiden, first of all, welcome to the show. And the song you're going to be singing is about bullying. What inspired you to sing this song? Um, I was basically um, on the presidential board of my school's bullying uh, club. And the club asked me to write a song, so I took their offer up and I wrote this song. And I ended, it ended up being um, really good for the community. I played it at the middle school. I played it for various classes in our school. And it became basically the anthem of our club. <laughs> That's awesome. And the name of the song is? We Are the Change. All right, we are the change. Aiden McGovern, ladies and gentlemen. suggestion today and uh, Gina was the first one to, uh, to respond and my suggestion was um, there was another bullying tragedy yesterday a 20 year old was stabbed to death in Babylon so I put up a suggestion that you know we in Long Beach were blessed to have a beautiful boardwalk and my suggestion is right before the start of the next school year we should have a massive anti-bullying pledge where every student 
Every teacher, every administrator, every bus monitor from elementary through high school signs a massive anti-bullying pledge on the boardwalk. So that's my idea. Let's hope this becomes a reality. Um, that was a moving segment. Uh, I want to end this segment with another moving segment. Uh, he's been with me uh, from about two years ago. Rocco uh, Pasifumi is an inspiration to me. At 13 years old, he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. He's been an incredible uh, addition to our show, does amazing movie reviews, but he also recites original poems. And this one is going to be about his battle, his journey with Asperger's syndrome. Ladies and gentlemen, Rocco Pasifume. Thank you very much, Molly. It is my great honor to uh, have perform another poem for you. This one, like Howie said, is based loosely on my um, journey going through Asperger's syndrome and dealing with, you know, life and love and, you know, trying to just be a better person to um, to others, um, whether it be romantically or socially or whatever. So the poem that um, I am performing is called How Far I've Come. I remember when I tried to push you away from me. I remember when I acted like, with you like I didn't care, but it was all to hide how my heart would bleed if you weren't there. I tried to act all tough and bury all my feelings. I left you cold and crying so many tears because I was afraid to express how much you would leave me reeling and I didn't know how much you meant to me all these years. I was so buried in fear and insecurity, I was always walking on such shaky ground, not even always knowing what I had in front of me, and I could not even make a sound of the thought of not having you around. But now I've seen the error of my old ways from all the patience and love you showed me as your friend. And if you think in us that I didn't have any faith, even if the world came to an end, I'd come back to you once again. I never had anyone whom which I could truly confide before you came into my life. Now I have no reason to run and hide. With you, I can finally put the past behind and start anew with you by my side, finding finally a solid trust and a true love that tra can transcend all space and time. I don't know what I'd be without you, though my heart will never be on the run. For what I feel for you rings so true, for what I feel makes me able to say the words I love you, for when you see just how far I've come. Thank you. You know, I've done this show for four years, and I can't remember a more powerful opening of the show than Aiden uh, McGovern's uh, very emotional song about bullying, uh, Rocco's uh, heartfelt poem about his journey with um, Asperger's Syndrome, so just a very powerful show. Before I go on break, I just a quick announcement.